the real formation in 1879 of the Mullingar Confraternity Band, formed by Dr. Nulty. He wasn't bishop then, he was, he was consecrated bishop a few years later. And this was um, a brass and reed band, and it was of sizable dimension even at that time. And it played at church functions and at processions and at outings for the confraternity. And it had an up and down history as most bands had for years. But it continued on until World War I, and it received a great infusion then when some of the ex servicemen who were in the military bands in the garrison stayed on in Mullingar and joined the confraternity band. But there is a point about this during the 1900s when the military bands marched up and down the town to service. They were loved and hated by the people. They loved the pageantry, the locals loved the pageantry, but they hated the personnel. But even today you can hear talk about the second Manchesters who played for the military balls in the, in the uh, garrison, Wellington Barracks or Colin Barracks as it is now. And the people were proud of the bands, but it gave Mullingar an identification of military band history. <laughs> If one word can ever describe the importance and achievement of the Mullingar Town Band, it is the word involvement. Here we have almost 200 people of all ages dedicated to a life of music which involves themselves, their families and the whole community. The rewards musically, socially and educationally can hardly be measured, certainly not in any one generation. And here we meet the next very important achievement of the Mullingar Band, the continuity of cultural and musical reward generated by the band for generations to come. In the world of today, this discipline and hard work of the band members is an example and a solution for the preservation of something really worthwhile. First and foremost, of course, I contact uh, most of them through the schools, the local papers, and um, invite them to this recruiting. Generally, you get about, well, the last lot was 280 people turned up for this. When I have them there, it's a, re a record played over to them. They are each person going, going in is handed a student blank, which they fill. Very, very simple thing. It's a, really an aptitude test. and. Um, on the results of that aptitude test, which are correct, we send those results out to the parents and invite the parents to a meeting. And there we explain about the idea of the music education and the, the benefits of musical education and also the benefits of uh, joining our particular group. <laughs>
course, nowadays, we wouldn't have it, and that's that. But not that I object or anything to it, but I think it takes away from the band's capability, the band itself, you know. I listen to the band, I don't mind the other. And it covers up an awful lot. Not, I'm not trying to run down the local band or any band, but when I see them jazzing around, that's that. I'd rather listen to some band who sit down like an orchestra and play the music as it should be played. Hmm?